Hey everybody, how are you doing? Happy almost New Year's. Uh, I'm recording this, obviously I'm, I'm doing this live. Um, today is New Year's Eve, it's almost noon, and uh, I guess that means we've got officially about 12 more hours of 2020. And I know a lot of you are like, dude, get this year over with now. And if that's you, I totally get it. This year has been one of the most challenging years for the whole freaking world. I don't know of a single human being that has not been through some sort of trial or tribulation or challenge or obstacle or like 20 of them this year. Raise your hand if that's you. That's been me. This, this is something uh, I actually heard. What I want to share with you guys today briefly is something I actually heard uh, really early this morning. My body has been waking up at like 4 a.m. and I used to think that that was a punishment, but now what I've been learning over the past couple months is God wakes us up early sometimes because that's the time we don't have any distractions. So most of us struggle with some kind of distraction. Facebook is an example of that. We spend to, tend to spend time scrolling through our feed, liking stuff, not getting things done. Is that you? I can admit to sometimes that being me. Okay, if you wake up early, God's trying to connect with you. So what you need to do is be still, get quiet, and say, what is it that you want to say, and just sit in that moment. But here's the thing I want to share with you. For the next 12 hours of this year, yeah, the next 12 hours of this year, here's what I want you to do. I want you to be thinking about and setting the intention of, I am resetting myself right now to enter into the best year I've ever had. Now, if you set that intention inside yourself, and I'm pointing to my, right here, this is where my soul is, set that intention inside yourself. It is my intention to reset myself into the best year I've ever had. Why? Because so much of what's happened in 2020 has been a reset. So many things across the globe have changed some things have gone from uh, us having to start all over again. Some of you guys have had to restart your careers or restart your jobs because your business has been shut down because you haven't been allowed by the government to work. And a lot of people panic with this stuff and they don't know what to do. If you will allow yourself again to go within and check with God and check with your spirit, what is it that you want me to do? You can take a deep breath. Breathe out, take three deep breaths and just focus on breathing and then ask your spirit and ask God, what is it that you want me to do? Will you help me? Will you help me see what the reset is for my life? Will you help me understand what it is that I need to be right now? Because everything's being wiped away. This is a time to reset. If things have been taken from you or you feel like you've been... Um, You've been separated or removed from situations. Maybe that's relationships. Maybe that's job and career. Maybe that's stuff in your family. Maybe that's stuff in your personal life. Maybe you're noticing stuff about yourself that you weren't able to see before. Maybe you're noticing that you've got some codependent patterns. Or maybe you really struggle with worthiness issues. I've struggled with worthiness issues. I'll be honest with you, I still struggle with worthiness issues. It's deep, deep, deep stuff that I continue to explore and continue to work on. Because I continue to explore it and continue to work on it, I'm able to heal continually. And what I learn and what I'm able to heal in, it helps me be able to teach other people how to do that too. That's why I do what I do. That's why I work with helping people learn how to love themselves because I'm still in that journey. I always will be. And I've let 2020 be a year where I look at myself differently and I say, okay, dude, what's really going on here? What is going on inside myself that I can change? And what is going on inside me that I need God to help me with? Because it feels too big. Well, for the next 12 hours, I want you to give yourself a little bit of time to go within and ask yourself these questions. And if you're watching this video and it's New Year's Day or sometime in January 2021 or whenever it is that you're watching this video, I want you to spend just a little bit of time going within yourself. Take a deep breath. This is part of meditation practice. Take a deep breath. And allow yourself the space to just be. And allow yourself the space to just ask God, what is it that you have for me? What is it that you have for me? What is, wh what is it that you want me to do? And what is it that you want me to be? And take, a, take the time to look at the experiences that have happened to you this year as stuff that has happened for you. 
If you will change your perspective and change the way you look at things so that you see things as happening for you instead of things happening to you, everything in your life can be reset. Not only that, you can see the opportunities that are taking place right now, right before your eyes. They're opportunities. They're not obstacles. If you can shift your perspective and shift your belief to look at opportunities instead of obstacles, you will have so much more blessing flowing to you. That's the way God works. That's the way the energy works. That's the way that love works. When you focus your attention on opportunities and success, you experience opportunities and success. Okay? Let this be your reset. I believe in you. I love you. If you like this video, if this connects with you in any way, share it on your personal profile or share it with somebody that you know so that they can hit reset for their lives too. They can see opportunities instead of obstacles and they can choose to focus on love instead of focusing on difficulty. What we focus on grows. I believe in you. Focus on love. Focus on yourself. Self. Have a happy new year and I'll see you soon.